Welcome to our WOW DIY series. By following along with this video, you will learn how to make your very own electromagnetic motor, like this one. Today's DIY activity is a little more advanced than our others, and you may need to have an adult help you complete some of the steps. Before we start, let's talk about what an electromagnet is. An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. Flowing electrons, or electric current, can be produced by a magnetic field, and spinning magnets can cause an electric current to flow. Electromagnetism is the interaction of these two important forces. Electromagnets are an important element of almost all motors. Let's build our own and explore how it works. First, you will need to gather the following supplies. You'll need two large paper clips, a 77 centimeter piece of 22 AWG enameled magnetic wire. You can find this at your local hardware store. You'll need one AA battery and one D battery, a roll of electrical tape, a roll of duct tape, and two ceramic magnets, about one and a half to two centimeters in diameter. Now, permanent magnets like this are permanent. They're magnetic all the time. You probably have some of these on your refrigerator. You'll also need some fine grit sandpaper, a utility knife or a razor blade, and some wire cutters. Finally, you'll need two popsicle sticks, a ruler, and some cardboard. You will have to cut out a piece about 13 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters long. Your piece of cardboard can be a little larger or smaller, depending on what you have available. For my piece, I just cut the flap off of a box. Now we are ready to build. Begin by taking your piece of wire and coiling it around the D battery, leaving about five to six centimeters at each end. Remove the coil from the battery and secure it by wrapping the excess wire around the loops. Make sure you leave at least four centimeters on each end. Next, sand all of the sides of one wire tail and only one side of the other. Bend the end of the partially sanded wire. When the electricity flows through this coiled wire, it will create a magnetic field that will interact with the permanent magnet we are going to place below it. By not stripping the wire on one side, we are creating a natural break in the current, causing the magnet to turn on and off. Now, straighten the ends of the two paper clips, leaving a cradle for the coiled wire ends to sit in. You will want both paper clips to be the same shape. Use the two centimeter long pieces of electrical tape to attach the unbent ends of the paper clips to each end of the battery. Then cut an approximately 30 centimeter long piece of electrical tape and wrap it tightly lengthwise around the battery to attach the paper clips and to secure the connection. Tape a popsicle stick to your cardboard using a nine centimeter piece of duct tape. Attach the paper clip cradle and battery using two more pieces of about nine centimeter long duct tape. Hang the wire coil in the cradle and place your magnets underneath it so that the coil is suspended above the magnets and the magnets are centered underneath your coil. Tape your last popsicle stick behind the battery just for extra support. Now spin the coil to start the motor. You may need to make some adjustments to the position of your wire and the magnet until it runs independently. You have just built an electromagnetic motor that turns electrical energy into mechanical energy. But how does that work? Well. When the current is flowing, our magnet is on. When the same poles of the electromagnet and the permanent magnets align, they repel one another to give the coil a push and keep it moving. Sort of like this. To prevent the opposite poles attracting and getting stuck like this, we stripped half of the wire, creating a break in the circuit. In other words, we switched the magnet on and off long enough to avoid this problem. Without this step, our motor would stop and get stuck. Now, the fact the magnet can be turned on and off is one of the advantages an electromagnet has over a permanent magnet. This on-demand magnetism is what makes them so useful. Some doorbells, like this one, use electromagnets. When you push the button, it switches on the current and causes the bell to ring. Imagine how noisy it would be if you couldn't turn it off. We hope you enjoyed this activity. Don't forget to clean up all of your supplies when you're done. To learn more about the science and technology behind this activity, you can search words like solenoids, generators, motors, and the Lorenz law. 
To find more fun DIY activities, visit us at wpafbstem.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thank <phone> you. <rings>